I try to post on social media with enough time, but y'all know how I do sometimes. This is Heather. Hello. If you don't know her, Heather and I worked together when I worked at 143 for over two years. Oh, so yes. we are the OG Hot Mess Express, the first ones around that I'm aware of. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> like, I think it's a coined phrase now for crafting. I think so. And I, I think, think we so. started that. It was a thing. It was. And today will be another hot mess for you, but it's going to be super fun because we're making baby, baby clothes. clothes. Okay, so cute. I can't wait. So cute. You guys are gonna love this, and they're all for my little guy. And we have so many projects planned for you. We do. It's gonna be so fun. But we're also gonna go live on our 143 vinyl page and in our group. So Laura's gonna get that started for us too. So you're kinda kinda see us introduce ourselves twice. Yeah. So you get a little bit of behind the scenes at the same <laughs> little, time. Yeah, BTS that you yes. weren't expecting. We used to have Starbucks all the time. I drank most of mine because I was stress crafting. <laughs> I was stressed getting all the things out, so yes. I chugged mine. Yes, she did. I'm like, I had like three sips. <laughs> she was more disciplined than me. I, I think I was just more scattered, is yeah. what it was. I was sitting at the desk going, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It'll be fine. It's all going to be fine. It's fine. It's fine. Laura, are you ready? Yes. All right, let's, let's do, do this, y'all. Uh, You'll introduce strange. us there. Yeah. Sure, absolutely. They know you because we're the strange ladies. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> One for trees fancy, they have an intro. We do. <laughs> so fancy. We're on my phone today, so. <laughs> All right. Hey, crafters, hey, I'm here with one of my favorites, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to be here. Are you really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Just a little. Just a yeah, little. Yeah, I'm also really caffeinated. <laughs> Don't tell them I'm caffeinated a pregnant lady. It really helps. You know, no, I saved up all my caffeine for this. Yes. Listen, if any of you are like doctors are going to come for me, I'm allowed to have 250 milligrams a day. And you okay? saved it for this moment. I saved it for the cold brew. Yes, for we could like come at them like we used to. Yeah. So Alex is also streaming on her channel yeah. or on your page, right? Yeah. And so she's got her phone going and we started there with them and kind of introduced what was happening. But Alex, tell them what we're doing. Today, we are making baby clothes for my little guy. I am 30, let's see, how, how pregnant am I? Look, it's so cute. Um, let's see, I'm 33 weeks and today is Monday, so two days. Look at you, how many minutes and how many hours? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> but, so he's coming pretty soon. Um, pretty soon. He's a big boy, so we'll see if we make it to my due yeah. date, which is September 9th, for those of you who are gonna ask. Um, I don't think I'll make it there, though. I would just be really surprised. Uh, we're taking bets. We're thinking yeah. that she will not make it there. No, so. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to make him some cute little customized swag. But we are not sharing his name until he's born. So we have other things that we are customizing it with that right. I think you guys are going to love. You can probably tell by the color scheme that it's a boy. Yes. So we are customizing with some fun things. His nursery theme is like vintage airplanes. It's adorable. So yeah. she showed it to me. We went to lunch. She showed me what it's gonna look like. It's going to be amazing. I think it's gonna be cute. So a lot of the things that we are personalizing today are using that airplane theme since we're not doing like initials, names, those things. She won't tell me. I tried. It's a secret. I fed her lots of food. <laughs> I got did. her baby clothes. She I got her coffee. And she, she won't tell me. She will not tell me. Locked tight, which never happens, y'all know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna get it out of her. It's going to happen. Listen, everyone's already tried. Locked up like Fort Knox. <laughs> Man, y'all. Like, what could it possibly be? Is it it's, Bob? It's not that crazy. It's, it's not that crazy. George. <laughs> Even, <laughs> Even if you guessed, I would still lie. Like, just so put, you know. Can we put, like, George or, like, Bob on the back of this? And you can take it home to Andrew and be like, hey, Heather says this is the baby's name. name. <laughs> I think that would work. I don't know. I don't know. I think he'd be pretty surprised. I think he'd be like, hard no. Yeah, he'd be like, um, that's an absolute no. <laughs> yeah. We took a while to get to the conclusion of this one, actually. Yes. So we can't we can't really mess that up again because we're a little too late in the game for that. Absolutely. <laughs> Sweet Lord, y'all. So, Alex, 
What, what we got? What we gonna make? It's gonna be fun. So we're working with two really unique materials today. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I think that they're unique. You guys may not, but it's Caesar Strip Lock Pro for a lot of the things that we're making because they have that fun 3D effect. We're kind of turning the back of this jacket into almost like a little varsity style it's jacket. That'd be so cute. Which is precious. We may have squilled in Target when we saw this. It was jacket. yeah. Like, all this stuff so from Target. Excited. If you're looking for really really cute clothes. Yes. Um, and then we are also working with Puff, and I will just tell you guys. Just to be real, I have trouble with puff. I can only kind of get it to puff. I don't feel like it has the full puff effect. So I told Heather I wanted to work with puff today so we can work that out. Um, so we'll see. We're gonna wish us both luck because I've worked with puff like twice. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure both times were with Katie, and Katie pressed it. So and Kate knows more than we do about puff. I've worked with puff a few times myself. Yeah, but we're gonna see if we can get it to work. So maybe yes. y'all can give us your tips in the comments. Katie's gonna come <laughs> back to work tomorrow and be like. Y'all, <laughs> what were you thinking? What happened? <laughs> like, OMG. It's going to be awesome. I cannot really see the comments. I know, so they're kind of far away. Yeah, so if you see something <laughs> over there, we need to answer. You know, just yell really loud, Laura. Everybody say hi to Laura. Laura's working the camera today. Thanks. Oh, uh, thank you. We appreciate it. Oh, <laughs> Michelle's done the baby jean oh, jackets before. Yes. They're so cute. Oh, Nancy said that her um, notifications are finally working. We did not mess up, Michelle. We did not mess up Katie and Laura's office. We cleaned, we, we cleaned it back up because we yes. tried to be nice guests. Right, Laura? And I thanked, yeah. I, I thanked Laura for letting her literally borrow everything. Like, I have, like, her phone charger. <laughs> I've, I've literally got everything. <laughs> Alex just, like, moved back in. I did. She I like, did. I feel like I, I have them left. I, I was, was like, like, welcome I was back. Like, I got my job back. <laughs> She's like, just no, kidding, I'm kidding. not staying, y'all. I'm leaving. She's like, what time are we going live? It's time for me to go home. Well, actually, well, we have to get into the weeding of all this, but I have a secret project that I've been working on mm. for six or so months that I'm getting ready to tell you all what it is here for real soon. I'm excited. Um, really she did soon. tell me that secret. Heather knows about I that I know one. that secret. She knows that secret. So I'm going to tell you guys about that really, really soon. So I can't have my job back because secret project is going to take up a lot of my time. Yes. And, and, it's be and I can't handle both you and Katie at the same time. That's I true. think that that would be a we lot be for Laura. And, and me and Katie and Laura, I don't know that we get any work done, to be honest with you. Laura's um, like, I if I would need headphones. It would be so loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very much so. Yes. Hey, Pam, what's happening? Sweet. So lots of friends. All right, so you want to get started? Yeah. So we have a couple pieces of puff here to weed. Yes. Because, you know, we struggled a little bit cutting puff. We did. The um, girl messed up. We had to ask customer service for help. We did. <laughs> we contacted 143vinyl.com customer yes. service, and Courtney was so nice to um, verify the way that we were supposed to cut this because I told Alex the wrong way to cut it. Well, first. and I asked because I was like, I know that it's different, but I can't remember exactly what it is. So, and by the way, this is Caesar Puff. So yes. there's different kinds of puff on the market. This is Caesar Puff HTV. And the way that it works is you still mirror your design, mm -hmm. but you put it shiny side up. Just way. Well, yeah, almost shiny, shiny side, side up. up. The dull side goes down. And originally when I cut it, I cut it with the dull side, or I cut it with shiny side down, dull, dull side, side up. up. So and it's a little bit unique. Like, hmm. <laughs> so we do, we do our thing where we say the same thing again. So it will take long to just fall back in bed. Have you noticed that? <laughs> it's like a marriage. <laughs> It is yeah. a little bit. We're just right back in step. Yes. We're just back doing our thing. Yes. Yep, there you go, Kristen. It is the Caesar Puff, yes. not the Starcraft Puff. The Caesar puff. Easy Puff. Easy Puff. Pardon me. Yes. Just make sure we You're right. right. You're right. What Easy was that? What, wait, what, what was that? <laughs> I didn't know which way she to cut it, right. but I know the name of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, and because Caesar Easy Puff comes in a bunch of different colors. Um, Starcraft Puff is great, but it only comes in black, black and, white. and white. So it depends on what your needs are for each project as yes. to whether which one you're going to choose. So which way are you going from? And I went from the bottom corner, okay. which is kind of my usual for. Um, like I still tried to do it for the, the wrong pen. side. Like I know my it really brain, messes with your brain. Yeah. Because as you guys know, um, in the craft world, it's been shiny side down for many, many. I don't even know. A many moons. years. Many yeah. moons. <laughs> a million years. Yes. So we have an airplane silhouette that we're going to put on one side, and this is for one of the sleepers. I forget which one we decided. Maybe the blue one, since it's lighter. Because I don't think the dark gray would show up too good. I think that right. we had. Or did we have? Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
I had the gray sleeper with white puff on okay. it. Okay. So it was the blue. It was this one. So I thought that it would be super cute to do kind of a like a design on both sides of the sleeper. So when you look at it, it'll say the sky's the limit on one side and have a little airplane on the other. How big do you think this baby is? This is a great big image you made here. I know it is a great big image, and that's because I wasn't using a ruler, so I was literally guessing. Were you um, winging it? I was winging it. For your airplanes? <laughs> I was winging the airplane. <laughs> Definitely, definitely. So we'll see if this fits. I guess if not, we can just put the airplane on there. Oh, you're right. That's, I too, that's a little that's a little big. Um, or yeah, because it wrapping around him that probably won't. We might yeah. just have to recut that one later. Let's yeah. just do the little airplane. We'll just do the airplane on that one. Yeah. But it was gonna be cute. I'll show you what it was gonna look it's like. It's fine. It's all fine. And this was in the dark gray Caesar Easy Puff. Yeah. I mean, it's still maybe okay. Yeah, but it's pretty big. Because when he puts it on, that those will wrap around his sides and he won't be able to yes. read it. And it's a little too close to the zipper, mm -hmm. so I don't know that it would really And with press. it being puffed, you know, you want to yeah. make sure that it's not doing that. Yeah. So this is what it would look like. I think it looks correct in the camera for you guys. Yes. The sky's the limit with a plane on the other side. But maybe we'll just do a plane on this side and we'll leave this. Mm -hmm. And I'll just make it smaller. Yeah. And recut it. Okay, cool. There's one. All so right. we're gonna start with our heat press with the Strip Block Pro because the Strip Block Pro cuts quite a bit hotter. So we were gonna go ahead and do that first and then we will adjust the heat press for the puff because the pressing settings are quite a bit different. Yes. Um, you know, sometimes we like to make it easy and just like keep it really simple, but Caesar Easy Puff presses at 280 and StarCraft, or no, not StarCraft, Caesar Strip Block Pro presses at 320 so it's a 40 degree difference yes yeah. so that'll give it some time to cool down before we can get everything right with our puff fingers yeah. and toes crossed yeah i was gonna unbutton this to press it mm. but then like where we're wanting to put it it may do some weird things so mm -hmm. i'm thinking you know it's maybe use a pressing tool yeah we'll have to do something in there yeah so what do you have over there so i have nothing well no what what oh <laughs> i have the bid <laughs> why thank you friends I've got two bib designs, which this one is my personal favorite. I cut out, it's a little hard to see, Daddy's co-pilot, which I thought was so cute. My husband's not a pilot, but I still thought it was a cute Evidently, she wants him to be. <laughs> Andrew? I think he would like to be. <laughs> uh, you're going to have to go take flying lessons. But I just thought it would look cute. Oh, that's adorable on there. And I like the way that the puff pops on the navy. I think that's mm -hmm. going to look so cute. And then here's your little airplane for your gray one. Okay. And so what I did with these, you guys, when I was designing these, is I basically just went on Creative Fabrica. I found a set of plain silhouettes, and that's what all these plain silhouettes came from. And then I also installed on Kate's computer. You're welcome, Kate. <laughs> You're welcome, Kate. <laughs> a font called College, which is like a varsity font. I actually used it in my live, if you guys were over on YouTube, I used it in my live last time to do the word mama. Um, but I just installed that on her computer to give it like the RC look. Don't mind me. Just, I'm just going to just reach go. right on over there. And so this is dark gray puff, I think. No, navy. That's navy puff. Navy puff and white puff. And so that's what our two little bits will look like. Hey, friends. This was supposed to say adventure. <laughs> Did you type it? <laughs> yeah. It's a, what is happening? Does it have an extra eye? It has an extra eye. Uh -huh. It's okay. We I added an eye into adventure. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You're pregnant. You have pregnancy. I, look, so I really, I'm like, you guys, I really, really have struggled with pregnancy brain. I was like, um, wait we a talked minute. about this. I have. A but apparently time. I forgot how to spell adventure. <laughs> when she said she was like frantically crafting, she was frantic. It, I probably was frantically crafting. So I'm just going to take, take catch. look, I'm just going to take this little word apart here and, and um, scooch it over. And just scooch it on over. No big deal. Scooch it over a little. See? No mistake. Thank goodness. Cannot be solved. Yeah. Isn't that right? Well, and especially the stuff like this, I I really felt like I need to talk about the the concept of just making sure that you keep crafting fun. Especially because of the person that I am, how easy it is for me <laughs> to pick things apart and get so caught up in the details that I don't even let it be fun. And so you just have to laugh at your mistakes. Let it roll off your shoulders, fix it if you can, or just start over. And hope to goodness that you can put it back straight. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> honestly, he's a baby, you guys. These are going to get washed a bazillion times. 
He'll yes. never know. Wait. He'll never know. If he won't did, judge mommy. If you would have known <laughs> Alex back in the day, you've been like, mm -mm, that, nope, she's going to recut that whole thing. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, Heather definitely taught me a lot in that realm. And it took about two and a half years for it to fully go away. <laughs> Holy copper in my arms. That's great. It's amazing. It's so cute. It's just a little, you know. I want to put a little extra on there for you. Yeah. Know, make it. Maybe I'll use my hands. And then, ooh, I can go ahead and start taking this apart. We're gonna do a little green Strip Flop Pro airplane on the pocket of his overalls. How cute. I'm so excited. So precious, I think that's gonna be so fun. So fun. And so it's personalized without being personalized because, I mean, if you're getting really technical, there's the conversation out there about people just being a little more cautious with putting their name all over their kids' um, stuff, especially with things like clothing. So this is a fun way that you can personalize things with your cutting machine without necessarily always advertising like their name, you know? Sweet Lord, me and this E. Oh, well, it is hard to manually place HGV for sure. That's not a very easy feat. Yeah, puff two, so we'll stick those in a pile. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it, it's is fine. it gonna work? It is, it's gonna be great. <laughs> is it too big? Dang it! <laughs> I made this huge, you guys. So we might be recutting this one too. <laughs> yeah, and I just struggled with that R and that E for you. Uh, Here, put that over there. Thanks, you're the best. Man, I love you. You're my favorite. <laughs> we had so many projects that we had to put them in envelopes. I, look, if that tells you how extra. Wait, wait for it. Is this plane gonna fit? Did you measure that pocket? I did actually. <laughs> I used my. <laughs> My phone was dying and I used the measure function on Laura's phone to measure this pocket. Okay, I'm so glad. There Let's you go. Let's see. Let's see. Now it is going to go over the seam. So we'll have to see how well that does. We might have to be a little bit cautious about how we press it and maybe press it twice because these buttons might be in the way. Okay. But I think we can do it. Actually, you think I should unbutton those? I would unbutton on them. Okay. Can you move the plane down a little bit? You have to, or you want to well, center exactly? It's Kind of right at Look, I'm old. I'm like, excuse me, I can't see. It's a little oh, hard. Yeah, to no, see. you're good. You're, you're good. Saying? I see it now. So I, it's a, the contrast is not super great on the camera, but if you guys can see, the plane is literally like seam to seam. But I just didn't want it to be super small. All right. So the next question: Did you measure this? Like, where are we putting this? Okay. So I'm gonna ask questions. You ready? <laughs> hey, everyone. Should we put? This thing makes me look. 18 times bigger than I am. <laughs> well, that's because it's for babies. <laughs> um, so should we put it like up here on this little mm. part? Or should it go down here? So that's the offset. It's just going to say band over on it. Yeah, so here. It goes like this. Mm -hmm. Just like this. See? Yeah. It's up, down here or more up here? Mm. What do you... What, wait, we'll let them... Should we let them yeah, let, the, let everybody weigh in. Yeah, you all make that decision for us. Hi, Bethany. <laughs> Aren't they adorable, Tiffany? The little I overalls. Think so too. Okay, Courtney says down. Dale says lower. I wish I could see. I'm sorry, YouTube DIY Alice folks. I can't see your comments um, because you're on my phone right now. <laughs> Everybody. Okay, so three votes for low. Michelle says high, but wants to know if the seam would be in the way, and that's what I'm wondering too. Yeah, I kind of like the lower. lower. Yeah, and that's, I think, kind of what I had in mind. But we are a little bit on the seams. Yeah, just a little, little bit. Little so bit sorry about that. Um, <laughs> you see nothing. Oh, look. I have a little, just that. Oh, an oh, arrow. arrow. Or is that the middle of something? There we go. Oh, look. Know. They're saying down. <gasps> Hi. Okay, great. Yeah. Awesome. Look at that. Hi, look at that face YouTube. of you on YouTube. I know. It's adorable. You like that random selfie that I have. So when you, when you schedule a live on YouTube, it literally, you click next. And it literally gives you a three second countdown to get a thumbnail. So I literally was like, ah. <laughs> that's all I had time for. <laughs> I'm gonna make that your um, little picture for when my phone rings. For when I call. I need like that. Can you send that to me? <laughs> I'm so going try. to do that. I think I used you can download it from YouTube. It's gonna that's happen. Funny. It's the best. Y'all. Okay, so everybody's saying down. Yeah. Yep. Down here? Down. Yep. We'll just have to get it to go over the seams. But I think as long as we press with a pressing pillow to get the mm -hmm. collar out of the way, I think it will be fine. fine. Yeah. 
It'll be fine. Be good. We may even be able to unbutton it if we do it lower. Oh, you that's know? true. Let's look. Yeah. But it looks like, guys, that they're like buttons, like actual buttons. They're snaps. Thank goodness. They're so smart. <laughs> Courtney, Kai needs one. I know. Aren't these cute, Courtney? I just think they're precious. Oh, look, yeah, I think we might be able to like look, girl. Oh, yes. That would be yes. so much easier. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just sit right here. Woo okay, good. Well, let's go ahead. Are these the three strip block projects? Yes. Okay. So we should be heated up now. I'll go ahead and press. Are you gonna press? You want. Yeah. Okay. Are you good? Yes, I'm good. Are you oh, sure? Oh this, y'all. I'm pregnant, not disabled. I didn't say that. But <laughs> everybody, which I so appreciate. Let me just say this. I so appreciate everyone's desire to be accommodating, but I really am capable. <laughs> I just didn't of want doing you things. to hurt yourself lifting no, up. It, it, it is down high. Because it is high. Our counterparts are a little taller around yeah. here than us. Kate is used to literally probably just like at arm's length pulling that down. Yeah. I mean, but for like, us, it's like sky high. We're like five foot nothing. And mm -hmm. Kate's like, what? Is she like close to six foot, Laura? Yeah. 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 I mean, like, so yeah. like there's a big difference mm -hmm. for height, you know, and this is her space that we just kind of took over. It's true. So, sorry, Kate. We love you. Um, sorry for the ways we messed it up. We'll do better. <laughs> I tried to clean your desk up, but I was done. We'll do better. We yes, always we say that. Will. I know. Okay. So, I have moved my overall things out of the way, and I'm wondering, what are you Do you wondering? think I need a pressing pillow? Possibly. Because I've got pockets here. I would think so. I've got buttons on the pockets. Look, I'm going to say that. I'm going to just be giant one. No, I got Amy one. Oh, good. Yeah. I think I need pressing pillow. So, in case you guys are not familiar with pressing pillows, what pressing pillows do is they um, oh. elevate the surface of your blank so that you're not getting things in the way of seams, buttons, things like that to make sure that you get really good contact with your HTV. Now, with Strip Log Pro, the nice thing is you're only looking at medium pressure, but this will be very important when we get to puff. Kristen said you were supposed to um, pre press that before you put that on there. <laughs> Kristen always gets after me because I don't pre press. She's giving, well, I she's pre giving I my can usual pre heat reminder that I can pre press I'll... because it literally takes two seconds to put. But don't you like that? Like, I was like, like oh. <laughs> Look, she gave you the face I give, okay? So, like, we have to pre press, and I'm like, you guys are so much better rule followers than we I know. Are. We love you, Kristen. <laughs> uh, we yeah, were doing these so shirts well. for a fundraiser, and what we were working with, you had to pre-press them first. Oh, yeah. And um, so, I mean, we're doing like 200 shirts. Okay. And so, I started. Is all of that? So I started. I'm like, we don't need to pre-press these. I did that first one. I like, messed no. it all up, and I was like... I'm gonna need another heat press set up. I'm gonna need somebody come over here and pre press for me. Yeah. I'm gonna do an assembly line. Holy so someone pre pressed, then someone centered, and then I heat pressed. Yeah, that's the best like, way to do And it. then we put it to the side, and someone else <laughs> healed. Oh my gosh. That's so I funny. mean, we got them done like, in awesome. no time. Yeah. Like, yeah. Six hours. For each step. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. So, you know what? And now that I think about it, which I always make this mistake, you guys, whenever you use a pressing pillow, it increases the pressure of your heat press. Oh, so yeah. You gotta turn it down. Yes. Oh my gosh, we were barely able to get it open earlier. Yeah. With the medium pressure. Let's see if that will be good. Very good. Mm. I was like, I'll hold it down. That's still high. Okay, let's do. Look, I feel so bad. Oh, it's really I'm like, just sitting here, you're watching work. Just keep working, you're doing great. <laughs> I'm doing fine. There we go. Absolutely. That's better. Beautiful. Okay. It's been like multiple. What? Heat presses now on this thing. It has been pre pressed, yeah. Kristen, like four 50 times. times. <laughs> we got you, girl. We are the most pre pressed. Hey, us. Kristen's had another reason to pre press so you can check those things. Yes. Kristen's you, calling us right. out. You She's right. got us. She's got our back. And there is no Teflon sheet on the top of yours, but I think. Here. Oh, you got an extra one. Good. No worries. I, I have your way, pressure heat resistant sheet. Either way, though, this one has a carrier sheet on it, so it's not as big of a deal. It's more like when that when we go to layer that jacket, mm -hmm. then we definitely will need that one. Bump is on vacation in Tennessee. Ooh. You're super close to us then. Yeah. All right. We'll just do the 15 seconds because we're fine. So Strip Log Pro presses at 320 degrees, 15 to 20 seconds. I love how Alex always has these things memorized, and I'm the one. No, I don't have those sticky notes. I don't have them memorized. I was trying to make you look good. <laughs> You're sweet, but no, I don't. <laughs> I have to look them up too. I just look them up in advance. And then this actually says it's a cold peel. So, okay. well, if you want to, you want to switch? Yeah. Send that over this way. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, we have to preheat the jacket. Pre-press. Pre-press. <laughs> I say preheat like I'm baking over here. <laughs> 
And in fact, we use a pressing pillow with this one too. Just to be on the safe side. Got that seam. Yeah. And yeah, I think that'll, plus we've adjusted the pressure now at using the pressing pillow, so we might as well start using it. Yeah, we were um, at Target trying to find stuff to press, and I was like, oh, we could do like a receiving blanket or a burp cloth or some um, bibs. It was really hard to find those things yeah. in the store. Yeah. Almost everything has gone online. So when I made my registry and everything, I had to do pretty much everything online, which was so foreign to me because I thought that like, you know, when it came to most of that stuff, I could just walk through the store, excuse me, and scan it. Um, but you really can't do that much anymore. They just really, that's just not how things are set up. Y'all. Y'all. Oh, it would be so cute. It would be even cuter with like a little white wouldn't it be under it. Yeah. Oh well, and that's why I did green because I thought it would be a good neutral that I could yeah. do with a bunch of different Yeah, but you don't outfits. have to do this shirt with it. Yeah. And since we were trying to, it's the funny thing about it, is I'm trying to do the math of when approximately when baby will be born. And he's supposed to be due in September. The baby's so, going to come early, y'all. Yeah. So I was like, well, you know, what is he going to need depending on the weather? Look at cute? that. Oh, that's Precious. adorable. Is it is it spicy? Me? Yes. Yeah. It's got like a little spot right there. But I think it's, I think once it cools more. You think so? I think it'll yeah. be fine. And it looks so much brighter now that yeah. it's like pressed on and cool. Yeah. That has a great See, like as it's like going. I think what it is is there's a little bump under here from your pocket. See, it's got like the oh, little like seamy, yeah. the seams in it right here. It is a little bumpy. Yeah. And so that's why. It's okay. just where it pressed. So probably once you wash it, you won't even see that. Yeah. Because it's already like coming out when I do that. Oh, good. Oh my gosh. Adorable, y'all. So cute. I love that. Okay, so I'm trying to send her the offset in between heat. Because I need some like heat tape or something. Yeah, do you have Yeah, heat absolutely. Heat that might help it. Just I'm pretty sure, sure we do. So absolutely. That's something else with um, Strip Log Pro. It's a little tricky because the carrier sheet's not very sticky. So you want to make sure to have heat resistant tape handy if you can. Um, just because it helps keep it stuck down. And now that I pre press this jacket and it's kind of hot, I don't know if you guys can see, the edges of my Strip Lock Pro are kind of sticking up. There's some yellow over here. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Right there. Right there. Look, I'm talking to Laura over here. I'm not <laughs> talking to myself. I love oh, this little gosh. Letterman look. You were so amazing. It's super cute. You got it. You got it. Laura yeah, is like the biggest <laughs> problem solver in my world. She's the best. All right, where's the scissors? I stole them earlier. Mm -hmm. Oh, here they are. It's fine. I found them, y'all. <laughs> oh, we charmed. Three cheeses. <laughs> we'll, we'll get there eventually. Nothing guys. to see here. We'll get there eventually. That one has some dirt on it now. Here, grab the, grab the roll. Don't make fun! No, this is our last one, and then we will um, drop the heat press okay. to the 280 so that we can work on the puff. The puff. And we'll work on the pressure in between because the pressure needs to be firm. Maybe I'll let you do the firm pressure. How about that? Oh, boy. Yes. Please. Wouldn't you love to? I would. Sorry. I'm over here fixing the, <laughs> the tape dispenser. The tape dispenser. Okay. So we have the offset nice and pressed. And so now we're going to add a van over over the top. Ta -da, I it. Hi. Which, in case you guys didn't know, is my last name. <laughs> and then I'll just basically reuse my heat tape to stick down the edges. I was like, I brought you more. Just in case. Thanks. 
Well, we may need it for the puff because the puff is the same way where the carrier sheet yeah. is sticky. So it can be a little bit tricky. Like mm -hmm. on a rhyme? Man. <laughs> All right. You're so now we're going to. I didn't know it. I know it. I do know it, I guess. Wow. <laughs> we should not give her caffeine, y'all. I, I am like in my prime when I'm caffeinated these days. Can I get rid of this one? No, you're good. Okay. Yeah, because cool. the, um, the Vanover actually covers Sweet. both the offset and the regular layer. So I didn't yeah. stick my Teflon sheet back on because it's fine. As long as it's got a cover sheet, technically you're good. Okay. The Teflon sheet's just good for extra security. Because I don't know if y'all have ever gotten HTV on the bottom of a heat press. It oh, y'all. It sticks. Oh, it's so horrible. It's a you can get it off. But it's a lot of work. Yeah, you have to heat it back off. Yeah, uh, like and literally like scrape it. it. And then you're, you know, risking, of course, burning your hands. And it's just not a good time. Oh, my gosh. You guys. So let's go ahead and <gasps> work up the pressure. Hot. But I'm going to lower this to 280. I have to take a picture of this before it's inside. Okay. Is that okay. <laughs> yeah. Like, do it. We need to show this even before we peel this. It's precious. Like, we have to like put this out in the world. Oh, we'll do it. oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. So, and the reason I want to drop it now is because the heat press does take a few minutes. She's she's a big machine, so it takes a few minutes to get things going. So, is it ready? Kendall said, wait, I subscribed to DIY Alex on YouTube. I never realized she was a local creator. Yep. Yeah, before you were a um, influencer. Yeah. And creator. Before I was DIY Alex, I was just Alex the marketing girl here. Yes. <laughs> I basically did, my job was a little bit different, but I basically did Kate's job. Yep. Yeah. So that's what I, that's kind of where I got my start. I started my YouTube channel while I worked here. Mm-hmm. And then things just kept going. And we went live together and we tied um, phones to heat presses to go live. <laughs> what else did we used to do? Well, Starbucks live. Yeah, so we would go live from the Starbucks parking lot, literally yeah. just using Starbucks Wi Fi. And we would just talk about stuff um, and, and say cool stuff. And yes. drink a lot of coffee. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember? <laughs> Oh, sweet Lord. <laughs> do you remember? So we would go live usually from my car. And do you remember when we, um, the day we did the Dollar Tree live? And we were just tossing things in my backseat. So we would find like blanks from Dollar Tree that we thought were a good idea to press. And then we would just like chuck them in the back. Yeah, we'd be like, you can put strip lock on this. You can put easy weight on this. Chuck. <laughs> yeah, it was so much fun. We had a lot of fun doing it. We got a lot a of lot. work done. We did. But we did a lot when of our brains get together, the creativity. But we also worked. did a lot of laughing. Yeah, it takes over. <laughs> I will say I cried when Alex left. I know, I cried too, because yes. I was sad. Yes. It was exciting to start my own adventure, but it was also bittersweet. It was. You know? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to burst your eardrums, <gasps> but it's oh so gosh, cute. Friend. He needs pictures oh, taken of us. I know. Oh my gosh. We're going to have to get like 90 sets of newborn photos. This is a, I think a zero to three jacket. So he probably won't, oh no, this is three to six. So he won't wear it right away. He needs some little but. white chucks to wear with it. And, oh no, oh no. He has got, well, and I guess the, the red doesn't go too well with it, but he has these little um, University of Tennessee jerseys oh, that my mother-in-law oh. has gotten for him. So to wear like a little football jersey with like rolled up sleeves. Mm -hmm. And jeans, and also babies in jeans. I don't know what it is. I think it's it is so the cutest. Cute. The cutest. Oh my god! So I'm so excited. Oh, Yay! No. That might be my favorite so far. Oh, we I like the plane, cute. but we picked this up first. Yeah, that was the first thing that we saw. And we were like, "That is so cute." We're like, "I can't this. even." Like we were I trying can't. to figure out what to make, and we were like, "No, yeah. this is it right here." Like have to do this one. We're like, we have to do more than just one project. Yeah, because we will talk. Well, because these are so quick to honestly to do, and Heather pre-weeded a lot of these as they were coming off of the Cricut, so it honestly just made it really easy. Yeah. So, Look at that, y'all. Oh, uh, so the, cute. the little jean jacket we got at Target for like fourteen dollars. Yeah, it wasn't super expensive yeah. in my opinion. No, because you know it is. Fairly heavy. Yeah. It's got a little stretch to it. So it'd be a nice little fall jacket. A fall and even like maybe a spring, spring jacket. jacket. Yeah. Depending on when it fits in but and it's what size it is. Adorable. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hey, you guys, it's getting so fun. Yes. We worked really hard on the nursery this weekend. So things are getting real on that front as well. It's just even so with the seams. You know, everybody worries about like seams and yeah. how things are going to turn out. But yeah. you guys, like, it had it seams great. and it did great. Yeah. Like, don't always ever think your project. Well, 
and especially if you have the right press settings. Yes. Now, I know that that's not always the easiest thing to do, but one of my favorite things, which, in fact, if I do to my own horn, I'm the one who started it, <laughs> is the cutter cut and press settings document on 143 Vinyl's website. I still refer to it all the time yes. because it has the cut settings and the press settings for every single type of material that 143 Vinyl carries. So if you don't already have that on your computer or have it downloaded, you definitely should. I don't print it out because it does change from time to time. So I just go back to the website yep. when I want to see it. Um, but that's where I got all of my settings from. And as long as your settings are correct, you can overcome a lot of the issues that seem like issues, like a right. seam being in the way or something like that. Just yeah. adjust your, your um, cut and press settings to be what the manufacturer suggested and it really will take you a long way. It will. I mean, we had a customer or a, you know, a follower on our Facebook group, I think it was this weekend or yesterday, asking about cuts, um, the cut settings for StarCraft's um, stencil material. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been a while since I've worked with it. Yeah. You know, I yeah. love their stencil material because you can see through it and it doesn't tear like it's some great. do. Yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, it's one of their best products yeah, that they have. Yeah, absolutely. It's one um, of my favorites. And uh, I was like, she's like, what, what do I set my machine at? I'm like, I am in my car. Yeah, I don't remember right at the second. Yeah. So like, I was like, oh wait, here's the link to the cut setter document. It will show you right here, depending on what machine you have, what you need to do. Yep. And the first couple pages are adhesive vinyl, and then the rest of it is HTV. So you can literally find all the answers you need all in one place. Mm -hmm. So I definitely recommend bookmarking that and keeping it a, like a close eye on it, because that's what I referred to, to get these settings. So it makes it a lot quicker. Yeah. And you can always, like typically you want to go with the manufacturer's recommendations, mm -hmm. but if you know you need to adjust, you can always do that, but that's always going to give you a really good starting place. And even if you're not a Cricut user, they also have, I don't know if the Solo is on there, but Silhouette is. There are some um, Solo settings, but like the Solo, mm -hmm. you, the way that you set it up with the blade is a little it's different, different, like how the blade is extended and where you set it at. But there's um, the Brother Scan and Cut, there is the Silhouette, and there is the Cricut on there. Mm -hmm. So you at least have a starting point for pretty much any most machines on the market. Um, and the solo settings would be similar to probably any other kind of cutter if you have like a you know Graph Tech or mm -hmm. a Juliet or something else. Yeah. Um, they'd be pretty similar. So all good things to know and a great resource to keep it in is. your back pocket because that is where I got my Post sloppy notes. sticky note. <laughs> that has I had them on my envelopes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it's important, right? Yeah. You want to make sure you do it right. I think we should move that up a little bit. What's your thoughts? Yeah, I just slapped it on there. Okay, I was like, it's kind of And cool especially if we're going to pre-press, I guess we can probably yeah. wait. Especially with these little, the sleepers do have these little snaps at the top. Mm -hmm. So we'll definitely want to pre-press and use a pressing pillow there. Might even unzip. I say we unzip it. it, yeah. Yeah. So the one thing with the puff that seems to be a problem that people um, have when they press it and it doesn't get enough puff is that their pressure is not high enough on a heat press. So, you know, one of the things that I was just saying about like the seams looking so great with the strip block over it, I don't think you would necessarily get that outcome if you were using an easy press or an iron. Yes. You would have issues with the ends lifting up. You wouldn't have consistent pressure to get that to adhere. Yeah. And with the puff, it's the same way. Like you can use it, you know, with a easy press but it's not going to perform in the same way that it will, you know, perform with a press, like an actual heat press yeah. that you can adjust the pressure. Yeah, I agree. And as much as I love, I really think that the Cricut Easy Press is a great product. It's a great place to start, but I do suggest if you're really going to like go the extra mile, you're going to try a lot mm -hmm. of HTV products or DTF or sublimation. I do think that a heat press is definitely a worthy investment. Right. Um, because it's just gonna give you better results overall. Yes. And you can kind of remove like the user error out of that somewhat. Oh, yeah. Now granted the you adjusting the settings is also part of user error, but once you get used to a heat press and you like know kind of what feels right, that makes a huge difference. And heat presses are just like, you know, your like your cricket machine and my cricket machine, the way that it cuts is not always exactly the same. Yeah. So like, you know, my heat press at home is not necessarily going to work in the pressure be the same as what yours is when I tighten it. Yeah. Even if we have the exact same heat press, the yeah. exact same model, yeah. you know, depending on how many times you've used it to press, like right. how many times have you cranked that heat press down? Like how have you taken care of it? Like all of those things, yeah. you know, affect it. 
Yes, and definitely. That's, and that's hard sometimes for everyone to understand. Yeah. Like this one right here gets daily use. I have this exact same heat press, but I don't use it every day. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure this one is much looser than mine is. Just right. Because it's just being used more. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it definitely makes a big difference. But like you can adjust it, but it's really more like, I know that's not very helpful, but it's more <laughs> of like a feel. Yes. You know, you have to get the feel for what pressure feels like so that you can really get it right. Mm -hmm. um, you can do a dollar bill test or a paper yeah. test yeah. where you put a dollar bill in it, leave it hanging out, close your heat press, and you should not be able to pull it out. That yeah. should be just like a normal pressure. Yeah, like a medium. Yeah. And then you can adjust it, you know, a turn or two in either direction um, to get low or to get high. But, um, but just, yeah. Just, just be just careful because if you get it tightened too, too high like we have, we can't get it back open because yeah. we're short. So yeah. you have to remember that too. Like <laughs> where you place your heat press to operate it, yeah. you have to it base matters. it upon you using it. Yeah. In fact, which I know also, sorry, not terribly helpful, but my husband built a table for me that is much lower than this yes. so that I can actually reach the top easily and that it's much easier for me to like kind of get underneath it and open it up mm -hmm. um, rather than something like this toolbox because this, for me, that's way too high. But yeah. for Kate, it's perfect. It's perfect. So yeah, it just depends on who you are and kind of how that works for you. Awesome. So let's see if we're ready. Where are we at? Okay, the temperature's good, it's 278, but you'll probably want to check the firm. Yeah, so let's do this. So we're gonna use the um the pillow press the pillow with it. I probably would. Okay. Oh, because I knocked out the bookshelf. Y'all, I'm so clumsy. <laughs> so clumsy. And like today has been worse. Why? Can I stick it out of the side of the frame? Oh yeah, you can really see belly pop in there. <laughs> Side, so y'all see what Heather is pressing. So did you adjust this at all yet? No. Yeah, that's look, I can hardly get it back open because I'm so well. It's short. a good it's a good medium, but it probably does need to go. Someone is at my front door. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Honestly, I just have to yeah. open it and close it. I can never remember like, 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 which direction it goes. Yeah. Definitely, if you can't open it, then it's like, not. like, a step stool, please? <laughs> <laughs> I need a box to stand on. Kristen said, pressure is definitely a learning curve. Agree. <laughs> Dale said, the world was not designed for short people. No, it was not. Y'all, the best thing is when you're married to a tall person and he decides to pull the stuff over the <laughs> So then you gotta put the dishes up and you're like, can't even reach them. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Good. All right. So let me have your cool. little hair play. This one, right? Yeah. Let me check. And I would put. Yeah, yeah, you've got the right side. I did, yeah, I'm gonna trim you down. So. Yeah, sometimes that is a little bit tricky too. Is the, you know. <laughs> Kristen said, Glad I'm not the only one that doesn't know which direction to turn the heat press off. No, well, I, I, I can't shoot them and walk at the time. Even, the even, even like the lefty loosey, righty tighty, I still have to think about it to which way it works. Like you think here? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Yeah. I think that's cute. You're gonna not have all that hair in your cheek there. Yeah. Okay. So how long? What do I gotta do, mom? Um, eight to ten seconds. Okay. And then it's a firm pressure and a hot peel. All right. So we had the um the Time set. Five minutes to ten. Yeah. Okay. Pray for me. You got it. Let's see how this goes. That's that baby Vanover's clothes. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? Then it'll just look like regular HTVs. So oh, that'd be okay, okay too. All fine. Cole suggested test shirts too. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. It's a hot feel. Look! 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 It's already peeled itself. It, yeah. It worked. It worked. I did it. She did it, y'all. Oh my gosh! So there like it, I didn't even have to peel it. Lot. Yeah, it, it basically peeled did. itself. Look. Okay, we'll have to see how well you guys can see it because I know it's hard to show, and the zipper's really hot. Hold on. <laughs> can you guys see? Can you tell Laura mm -hmm. that it's puppy? Ooh, yeah, that's, ow, that button's hot. Don't harden yourself. <laughs> Hold on. Let me zip it up, and then you guys will be able to see it better. She's pre-pressing. Pre-pressing, like yep. I've been told to do. 
Maybe that's the secret, Kristen. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe that's it. Like, how do you want this airplane to go? So it kind of was pointing down to the left. This side? Yes. Like your left, my left, who's left? Yeah, it's a little funky. Like that? But that's, yeah, that's the way the SVG was like made. Okay. So that's how I left it. Try again. <laughs> Let's do our, what is it, Hail like, Mary's? Yeah, I was like, OMG, that's a perfect pun. I, mean, I know! I wish you all could have seen it. I, maybe you could over there. Like, you've been so carrier cool. sheets. Look, it just kind of automatically falls off. Look at it. You so guys, it's so cool! It's wow. got a little bit of a seam because the, the way Oh, because it's like a muslin. Yeah. Mu I did it. Muslin or muslin? 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 Muslin. Maybe. Muslin? I don't know. When I read it, my brain says muslin, but I've heard a lot of people say has, muslin, and so I'm like, maybe I am. Does it have two M's in it, though? Does that have an N? It, at the end, okay. it's M U S L I N. So I would say muslin. Yeah, I think it probably is muslin. Oh, so it? that's the material of this one. Look but you guys that. can kind of see. It's cute, but it's very puffy. So I must have just not had the um, pressure, pressure high enough when I did this before. Now there is a little bit of a seam in the middle you can kind of see, but that's just where the material folded together. That's nothing that we did. Yeah, that's just the way that the precious. Isn't that cute? Oh, okay. Now that this is cooled a little bit, you guys kind of see it off the surface there. I know it's a little tough. It's the very top of that press as well, but I think that's probably because of this button, if I had to guess. Cole says, I always end up with zombie brain puff. LOL, that's gorgeous. Yeah, it literally puffed yeah. perfect. But it doesn't yeah. even look bad. Look how it's cute still. Yeah. It's still hardcore puffed. You guys can see it really well there. It's just that the texture of it's kind of funky. Is that everything? Yeah. All of our pressing? That's all of our pressing. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. These are so fun. Those turned out so, amazing. Yeah, they really did. We kind of learned our lesson yeah. with the muslin. Probably not the yeah, best I would not material. necessarily put puff on those again. Yeah. But, you know, hey. That's how you learn. But the only <laughs> other bits we really found had like the plastic. That yeah, so that was something that was interesting. If you guys are truly making baby clothes, the um, the bibs that we found had like cotton on the front and the back, but the inner mm. liner was like plastic, and it said that it was that was it that polyurethane something? Yeah, something. That we was were like afraid. it reminded me of like the the reusable shopping bags mm -hmm. that you usually can't really press. It's like that fake polyurethane material. Yeah, but they had like cotton on either side mm -hmm. of it. If you remember one year when um, everybody was buying Easter baskets and we tested yes. all the different Easter baskets and like some of them would melt. Yes. So we didn't buy those. That's what it reminded me of. Yeah. And uh, we were like, I'm pretty sure if we put this under a heat press, it probably wouldn't make it. We also picked up a really cute receiving blanket mm -hmm. that, or well I don't know if it was a receiving it was, I would say it's just like a fuzzy blanket yeah a real soft one oh chenille yes and that's what material. it was look at you and I was like you know I really don't know that that's gonna make it under just like the heat and pressure of a heat press especially when you're thinking about puff because you have to put it under high pressure so yeah. it needs to be something that can survive the heat press in high heat and high pressure and not everything can Right. But I still really like the idea of a daddy's co-pilot design. I will definitely be putting that on somewhere else because it's oh so gosh. cute. Adorable. And so fun. I mean, I think that one turned out like I know. perfect. So cute. Like you would not know that it did not come with that. No, one. I know. It looks like it literally came that way. And yeah. it's just something fun that you can add. And if you're like if you're like me and you're not sharing your baby's name, that's a fun way that you can customize it for people mm -hmm. for like their baby shower. So you want to make them something that you know has a little something right. else on it, but maybe doesn't have a name. Yeah. So whether it's a an initial or um, a theme of a nursery, mm -hmm. or even just like animals are cute. Right. Planes are cute. Planes, and what's great cars. about this, like as a parent of a now 15 year old, is you end up with all these clothes left, and if they're all personalized with your kid's name, that's true. <laughs> There may not be another kid out there that you yeah. know that has that name. Like, yeah. So, like, my kiddo's name is Caleb. Yeah. You know, there's not tons of Caleb's yeah. in the world. So, I'm like, 
you know, we did like his initials and stuff on things, and those are keepsakes, and I, you know, I yeah. kept those in his little yeah. baby box. Yeah. But you know, if you go around and you know put their name on every sleeper they have, like that's true. You can't share the wealth yeah. with your friends that have children yeah. that are younger. Or even take it to like once upon a child, they're probably not going to want mm -hmm. you know things like that with names on them because yeah, technically it doesn't matter, but also if you have the choice between something that has a name on it and doesn't, you know, yeah. I would pick the thing that makes the most sense for my kid, right? right. So I think it makes sense. Put Ooh. something on the butt. Oh, that's a great idea. That's an adorable Yes. Idea. And I remember my nephew's first Thanksgiving, he had a little pair of pants with a little turkey mm -hmm. on his butt, and it was so cute. <laughs> so, adorable. so many good ways to personalize yes. all these baby clothes. And you guys, this was so easy. It was. Like, you saw how many projects that we've done since we've been live. I mean, tons. Yes. So somebody so. said that they have problems with Puff because their letters always overlap. So when you're working with Puff, you want to do a font that is thicker and that is more spaced apart. Yes. And in fact, I guess I didn't tell you guys that, but every time that I use this font, again, this is called college font. Um, it's just the regular one. There are several versions mm -hmm. in, within the font when you install it from Creative Fabrica. And I did increase the letter spacing. Yes. So they came together because you can see, not that we want to get into that today, but this is a serif font, which means that it has the little extra, um, I don't know what you would call the that. The lines at the bottom. Yes. <laughs> like, look, I'm like, like yeah, the lines the, It's at the easier bottom. to see in the van over. Like on the V, mm -hmm. see how it goes like out at the top on both sides? That means it's a serif font. Um, and so I increased the letter spacing in order to make sure that I had enough space between my letters that they weren't going to overlap a bunch. Mm -hmm. And I also agree with Heather that you need to use a thicker font. I know sometimes it's fun and tempting to use like a really pretty script font or even just something that's like a, it's a decorative font, but it's very thin. Or, you know, like it's the, not really going to show the, up. Yeah, like the Ray Dunn font that everybody loves. Yes. Um, I think there's one of those called like Milk or something. Yeah, that sort. or Skinny. Skinny, skinny. yeah. Like yeah. it's like super thin. That's yeah. not something you use puff for. Yeah. You know, and there's one that goes with this. I don't know if it's um, like that on Creative Fabric, but it's a font also has it. And they call it their varsity font. Uh-huh. Um, and it is basically the lines. Yes, the outline. Yeah, so you wouldn't yeah. really use that with it because then you would have issues with it just overlapping. You wouldn't even see what you would cut into pieces. Yeah, yeah, and this one, so the cool thing about the college font is it has a bunch of different versions. I just installed the regular one on Kate's computer. You're welcome, um, Kate. I have them all on my computer. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but you want to make sure that you're paying attention to what types of fonts and what types of images you're using mm -hmm. with your materials so that you can make sure that it's going to work best. Because honestly, the outlines would probably be fine for Strip Flop Pro. Yeah, if I wanted to do oh, that on Strip Flop Pro. Cole just asked, he's like, would Flop be good though? Flop yeah. would be great. Flop would be great. Um, especially if you wanted to layer it where I have like one layer on the bottom and then another layer on the top, the outlines would look super cool. But on Puff, it's not going to do as well because that's just not really the way the material, you know, yeah. functions. And sometimes you don't know that until you try, right? You just mess up right. a project. But here's another lesson that I've learned over the past couple of years. Um, I think it's helpful to walk through the very worst thing that could happen if you were to mess up a project. The very worst case scenario. I never thought I'd hear those words I know. out of your mouth. The very worst case scenario is that we mess up a $14 baby jacket. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like that's the absolute maximum. And you may be able to worst like heat it back up and peel it off and put something over top of it. Or just have nothing on there and just let it be just plain. Like yeah. it would still be a great jacket for your baby. Or, you know, whatever the case may be, you may have to buy another sheet of what you cut because you messed up the design, but like that's mm -hmm. literally the worst thing that could happen. So just give it a try. Yeah. Um, Cause sometimes it just takes that or you can reach out to your crafty friends in the 143 Facebook group, DIY Alex. I have my own Facebook group. You could ask people for their advice for mm -hmm. materials you've never worked with before. But I think it's fun to also just kind of take a shot and know you might mess it up, but the very worst thing that could happen is that you mess up your blank. I mean, just think if you still only ate chicken nuggets and grilled cheese sandwiches when, when you were four. <laughs> like, That'd be pretty sad. Like, things that you would miss out on. <laughs> yeah. You miss out on, like, a Malone steak. <laughs> I mean, seriously, y'all. You would have never had a taco. 
right. Like you just got to give it a shot and it's totally, it just laugh at it when it messes up and when it doesn't turn out perfect and the, you guys can't really see on the camera, but, but we're like, she's yeah. real wrinkly. We're like, no, <laughs> mm -hmm. but that's going to be fine because he's a baby and he doesn't care. Yeah. So it's all good. You know, and like the other materials, I would say to stay away from those thin ones since Cole asked about flock is I would not do holographic or glitter. Yeah. HGV with yeah. a super thin font. Yeah. That's just yeah. me personal. If you want to go for it and try it, go try it. Yeah. I, I've tried it. Yeah. It frustrates me. Yeah. Um, I tear it up and I it causes more anguish in my world than it causes yeah. Well, it's hard to weed. It'd be yeah. hard to weed. Yeah, it's hard to weed. Um, it starts tearing. It's just, you know, that's kind of where I'm at with it. Yeah. And especially, well, and one of the differences between the two HGVs that we use today versus others is they do not have sticky carrier sheets. Mm -hmm. And so what that means is that they're going to have a harder time holding on to details versus something like glitter HGV. If you want to be brave and yeah. you want to cut outlines, the glitter HGV can hold it. It's going to be really awful to weed. I'll just warn you now. But you could do it. You could do and it. And it wouldn't hurt anything. And you're going to have a customer that orders it. Yeah. I've been there and done that. <laughs> like every, you know, bachelorette party or bridesmaids. Yeah. Something. Yeah. They want itty bitty thin glitter yeah. cursive. Yeah, absolutely. And you can do it. And it's every just time I'm like, dry balls. Oh, okay. And um, uh, Cole is asking if we can layer flock on flock. And that's what this is. Yes. Cool. So, so, yep. Strip flock pro can. So, strip flock. Back before in the day, pro, the first strip yeah. flock that Caesar released, you they could didn't not have layer. pro. You couldn't layer, yeah. but that was one of the cool things when they updated the product. That's why it's called Strip Flock Pro now, is mm -hmm. that you can layer it, and I think it looks great layered. Oh yeah. In fact, last week I actually I even broke some rules last week. Did you layer things you shouldn't? I do that. All yeah. Time. Well, <laughs> and it was fun. Breaker. It was fun. So back in the day, you guys, I used to be a hardcore rule follower. Never ever layered anything that shouldn't be layered. Like but, printed pattern. Like printed pattern. I layer printed but, pattern. But. I think, I think what you have to weigh here is whether or not it's worth it and what it's on. So I made a hat that said mama. I used the um, same college font mm -hmm. and I had a glitter HTV offset with a strip flock like inset. So the inside was strip flock and the outside was glitter. And technically you shouldn't layer on glitter HTV because the texture is not going to hold up as well right. on the wash. However, this is a hat that I'm never going to wash. Like my hat wouldn't make it for right. the wash. And it's a hat for you. You're not yes. making it for a customer. No. Like you're not, it's not a project that you're right. selling out to the world. It's right. for you. So if something yeah. goes wrong with it, you're like, oh, Oops. I wasn't really Oops. supposed to do that. But, oh, well. <laughs> so, you know, don't be afraid to have fun and break the rules on occasion and just think it through. You know, on a t-shirt, probably not your best idea to layer HTV over, glitter HTV over top of anything else. Because if you're going to wash it, it's not going to last yeah. like a, as much as something else would. Um, a better layerable HTV would, but for the hat, I'm not going to wash a cricket hat. No. If it gets really sweaty and gross, I'm just going to throw it away. Right, exactly. <laughs> and if so. it starts to peel off, you're just going to peel it off and maybe put it back or maybe not. Oopsie. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So that's my lesson for you for the day. Don't that's my soapbox. Don't overthink the project. Just have fun. Yes. <laughs> Do we have anything else today? Overstock. Oh, that's right. Overstock is unlocked on 143vinyl.com. Mm -hmm. Um, Katie unlocked that earlier today, and I do believe it's running through tomorrow. Have you seen that, Lauren? See what time it ends tomorrow? You know, check that out for us on the website. See what the time she has set that at. Oh, on the back end. Um, you should be able to see it from the front end. Yep, just calendar. click on it, and it'll have a calendar. So mm -hmm. it has one day, six hours, 56 minutes, and 10 seconds left. <laughs> As of 5.03 p.m. Eastern Time on Monday, 7.24 of 2023. <laughs> so let me be specific. Oh, you guys, there's so many oh, Caesar you see that? easy patterns. Yes, up. there is a what? bunch of Caesar patterns in there. Some of the easy patterns. Um, yeah. There's some elves in there for Christmas, some stockings, Ooh. some tassels, all the things to kind of get you ready for your fall and winter crafts. I know not everyone is ready for that, but... It's almost here, y'all. But you can start stocking up if you want to. And if you plan to sell any elves or anything, I'd go ahead and grab them. Yes. Because that's going to be your best price and you're going to make the most money mm -hmm. off of them if you're going to sell them. Yes. And we will not be getting those elves back in stock. Oh. Yes. So what is Order there? what you need. Order is what there? you're about to have. So now may be the time for you to grab those. Insider information. You didn't know that you needed to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else? I think that's it. Well, congratulations on the new baby. Thanks. I can't We're wait excited. to meet him. Yeah. And be able to show his name. <laughs>
<laughs> I will tell everyone. I won't hide this name Can from you. Can you at least tell me before you tell social media? Yeah, if I remember. Oh my gosh. Can you put a reminder on your phone that will remind you every day that in case you go in labor, that you do not post it to the DIY Alex page before me? I will do my best. That's all I can promise. All right, y'all. So I think that's about it for today. Yeah. And we're going to let Alex go home, put her feet up. Yeah, it's time. Yeah, maybe eat some ice cream or something fun. Yeah. Don't eat any pickles with your ice cream. <laughs> No, I haven't, I haven't actually had any weird cravings really at all. Good. It's pretty normal. Good, good, good. All right, Crafty Fit friends, we will see you next time. Bye. Later, one, four, three. Do you know why, Alex? I know you're still there. It's okay. It's okay. We'll behave ourselves. We Laura's going to have to end you. No cursing. Yeah, nothing crazy nothing behind crazy. the scenes. Nothing crazy.